and welcome back. Today's video is about the Montreal Canadiens and a potential Kirby Doc deal that we could see. Like always, don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button to see more hockey content just like this. It helps grow and spread the channel. Now, what will these masterminds and Gordon and Kent Hughes do to secure the pending restricted free agent? Rumors have come out that they're negotiating a four-year deal with $3.5 million worth a year. Personally, if this contract gets done, I'd be super impressed by the negotiating skills of Hughes. Being a former agent, he probably does have a few tricks up his sleeve. Kirby Doc is a player that oozes potential. With a frame of 6 foot 4 and 197 pounds, he could be a very big player for the Canadians. This past year with the Chicago Blackhawks, he was very disappointing, only putting up 26 points in 71 games not living up to the hype of being the third overall pick in his draft year. Being selected in front of the likes of Cole Caulfield, which is now his teammate, Trevor Zegers, and Calder Trophy winner, Moritz Sider. This trade couldn't have come at a better time for Kirby, being traded to a younger and more talented team like the Canadians and the Blackhawks. This gives him a better place to succeed, especially under a coach like Martin St. Louis. He could bring out the best in him. He would probably be put on a line center Josh Anderson and Jonathan Juan or Mike Hoffman. Being surrounded with offensive-minded players like Juan and Hoffman will significantly help grow his game. He'd also most likely be put on the first power play unit alongside Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki. Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki, Uri Safkoski, and Kirby Doc sounds like a very scary forward group to me. Alongside wingers such as Josh Anderson and other young Canadian prospects coming up, this could be a very competitive Canadians group going into 2025, maybe even 2024. For Kirby Doc in his first year with the Canadians, I see him playing the second or third line center for them. I see him putting up in between 40 to 50 points this upcoming season for the Canadians, and if he could do that, I think it'd be great value for him as he's still trying to create himself in the NHL. With a 3.5 contract for four years, he'll be under team control for a long time and it is a very good bargain of a contract as I think he has the potential to become a great NHL player. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and smash that subscribe button to see more hockey content. Just like this, it comes out every day. See you guys tomorrow.